डियर फेसबुक प्यूर यूरोलॉजी व्यूअर्स गुड इवनिंग वन एंड ऑल एज यू ऑल नो स्टोन डिसीज इज वेरी कॉमन टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी आर आई आर एस बाई डॉक्टर टका इनो हु इज वेरी एक्टिव यंग यूरोलॉजिस्ट ब्रीफली आई विल टेक द डिटेल्स फ्रॉम द टकाय अबाउट इज कैरियर Thank you once again, Dr. Takai, for joining Pure Urology program today. Good evening. What is your time now there in Japan? Hi, Takai. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Yeah, so maybe now. So Japan time is at uh, 8:30 p.m. Oh, very good. Uh, so you you have. Uh, uh, developed interest in rirs and pcnl and since how long you are doing this surgery uh maybe i think uh, uh, maybe uh, 18 18 for 18 years very good what what flexible ureteroscope you commonly use <laughs> yeah so maybe you know the olympus company they use a ureteroscope because the olympus company is from the japan very nice great company and uh, What what is the laser uh, which you use? Yes. So unfortunately now, so I don't use the stream fiber laser yet. So because now, so my favorite is a uh, high power homeo laser with Moses technologies. Very good. Uh, do you use laser in uh, uh, in PCNL also? Yeah. Right. So maybe I think uh, almost the cases I used the uh, so homeo lasers. But so in some patient cases, of course, so I use the ultrasonic. Oh, very good. So uh, I will introduce you officially, and then we will take over the program to you, dear friends. Uh, today talk uh, is by Dr. Takai Ino from the Japan. He is talking about necessary future management of RIRS. He is the vice president in Hara Janitorial Hospital and head of the Stone Center. Associate Professor in Japan. He has more than 39 publications. He is the lecturer and instructor for endourology training in, since 2014. Japanese Society of Urolithiasis Research Award of the Annual Meeting 2022 that is last year. Japan Best of Doctors Honor for the year 2018-19 and 2020-21. Japanese Endoscopic Committee Research Grant 2018 and Kansai Medical University Ohara Award 2017. such an engage he has received so many awards academic person let us share from him the future rirs uh, the role as well as its uh, uh, horizon over to you takai thank you once again for accepting please uh, carry on okay okay so first of all so maybe i share my slide ppt just for a while please okay so can you see my slide is okay yes 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 Just a moment, please. Yeah. Can you see? Okay. Yes, yes. I can see. Okay. Okay. So let's get started with my presentation today. Yes, yes. Okay. So hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Takaki Inoue from Japan. It is great honor for me to invite a great, great Pure World Seventh Program 2022. I really appreciate Dr. Barich Chandra Mohan all faculties in pure urologists. So today I talk about the necessary features management of retrograde intravenous surgery. I don't have any disclosure yet today. My talk is divided into the two topics, so present and the features of RRS procedures. First of all, so Before my start, my starting of presentations, please let me introduce myself briefly, quickly. This is my this is a specific hospital where we focus on some diseases such as a uh, ureter stones, kidney stones, you know, structures. Of course, sometimes we target the uh, urinary tract with carcinomas of BPH, UTI procedures. In our institutions. So we forecast on the endoscopic field, just endoscopic field. Of course, we have undergone many stone surgery like this. 
last years, about 600 cases a year in RRS are carried out in, in this hospital. As you see, the endoscopic surgery has been getting increased and increased. But you know, upper stress of shockwave treatment has been decreasing in current status, like a global state trend. Okay, let's get started with my talk about uh, retrograde industry of surgery. You know, RS has dramatically improved over the world as development of barriers, endological material and instruments, as well as uh, endoscopy and rotoscope. In RRS, this innovation is one of our big contributions to promote current stone, current stone management. Therefore, RS has been still improving now. Of course, you know, the development of flash scope also contributes to advance it. This is a great contribution. With these materials, with these developments of retroscope laser innovations, you know, retroscope surgery has been increasing over the world. In over trend, uh, world trend, URS had overtaken the shockwave treatment in 2004. Of course, it's the same trend in Japan. Therefore, now, so becomes global standard in literate in the renal surgery. Today, I talk about uh, stone management of RRS from present status and future status. First of all, so I start from. I'm sorry, that just a moment, please. Yeah. Yeah. So as you as you know, the RS procedures concept consists of the three components, like endoscopic manipulations, irrigation control, and laser setting. Firstly, endoscopic manipulation is quite important to get a stone free and avoid the patient complications and also the avoid retroscopic damage during surgery. Now we have been using a various reusable retroscope in clinical practice now, like URP7, P6 from Olympus Company and Flex X2 XGs from car stores in Germany and those to the boards M with a two, two channel working channel from the Richard Roof. Because now, so we also use the single use flagship retroscope, which has been launched at the I launched a lot over the world now. So each type of single use scope has each features. But because this single use scope has advantage or disadvantage. As current essential issue now, which is a better use in clinical, clinical surgery, stone surgery, single use or reusable retroscope? In my opinions, so I think we recommend so the hybrid use of single use and reusable flex scope. This is, I think, this is a, so hybrid. This hybrid use is now so maybe needed. I think because maybe a financial cost problem, and there also there may be uh, maybe an over indication. I think. According to some reports, it will be possible to be longer lifespan of reusable retroscope now. So by using a hybrid use in clinical practice. On the other hand, in financial impact of profit, this is a very important in our institutions. Of course, your own institution, I think. The overall cost and reusable flexible URS has been compared to be the purchase cost of single-use retroscope. According to so these literatures, so the answer is basically that it depends on the volume activity of a flexible URS procedures, I think. If case, lo case load a year is less than 30 cases, so single-use should, flexible URS should be mandatory in your clinical use, I think. But in your institutions, if your institution is high volume centers, so maybe over than 100 cases a year. 
So of course, the, so high volume use is better, I think. Of course, depend on the purchase prices of single use retroscope. Of course, there is over than so two hundred cases in your own in your institutions. So maybe uh, you can free you can use free single use retroscope. Of course, this is a hybrid use. The indication of use of single use with scope is also important for financial benefit in your institutions. Main indication criteria below the following that so bigger large stones, complicated lower pore stones. I think anterior lower pore stones, this is a one of the so difficult cases, I think. Of course, anomaly kidney stone like a stock one and uh, so maybe whole skin stones. In the case with resistant urine bacteria and use of endological trainees. This indication is very, very important to use the single use retroscope in clinical features. I show you so some cases in, in, in so complicated lower pore kidney stones, I think. From our research, so we should a barber's anatomy of correcting system. So before surgery, of course, during surgery, I think. So which is a better choose, choosing? Reusable scope, single use scope. Our research, the kind of value in infundibular pelvic angle and infundibular virus was 40 40, 40, 40, 48.8 degree and 0 0.78 centimeter respectively. This barrel is very important. So to decide to use single use or reusable scope. Next component is irrigation controls. So irrigation control is one of our big concerns during RS procedures. What is ideal surgical field in RRS? Basically, we have to get to maintain clear vision during RRS procedures and optimal radial distensions and some mandatory lower intra-pelvic pressure, I mean lower intra-linear pressures. This is very important. Notably, to maintain lower pore, lower, lower intra-linear pressures is needed during intra-linear surgery to avoid their complications like a sepsis or a pyonephritis. However, this maintain lower pore, lower pore, lower interlinear pressures is not quite easy management during lateral rate interlinear surgery. You know, pier venous back rows during RRS is one of big critical issues for patients, of course for us. This status might be able to cause a sepsis after operations. According to, according to the current uh, evidence from AUA 2020, so pair venous back rows occurs after continuous over 55 millimeter mercury for continuously 20 minutes during surgery. In past decades, you know, some investigators reported over 30 millimeter mercury was barrier threat level to back row. But now, recent outcome is different from the past previous one. Therefore, if it is possible, we want to measure and monitor real time monitors of interrenal pressures during RS procedures. Now, real time measurement of I interrenal pressures has gradually been realized like this. So by using pressure guide wire now. I mean, during during RRS, so we have to measure real-time measurement into renal pressures. And also in addition, so this is a new tool, Resubulate, just launched it in Canada on 1st April in this year. This will be very to equip so with intra-renal pressure monitoring continuously during all steps of RRS procedures. Unfortunately, of course, so maybe in Japan, so we don't have uh, this resolutability yet. 
the coming features, we can use the, these new tools. This is very, very so dramatic, dramatic, attractive too, I think. Next component is a laser setting during RRS. Of course, over the words now, so hyper familiar with that, we have razors with Moses or trimming fiber razors, which is a better razor fibers. Now, so a lot of us trial RCTs will be ongoing now. So now, so we can many laser systems in clinical practice now on two-stone treatment yet. Yeah. As you can see, so laser advancement has dramatically so changed. Now, like home lasers with pulse mode, long pulse or short pulse, and the next next generation the pulse modulation like Moses technologies, and then now we are available for new game changer to fiber lasers. So of course, EU countries or US, so maybe trim fiber razor is is available now, but so limited countries in the IJ countries. There are various kind of trim fiber razors which are already launched in clinical use. Again, it is not spread yet around the Asian countries. Current laser trend are hyper polymeric laser systems with Moses technologies and trim fiber razors. Hyper homeal razors with Moses makes like snow dust effect. Yeah, like this. Opposite, you know, trim fiber razor makes much smaller and smaller dust compared with the homeal razor thing. In each laser specifications, as you know, so trim fiber razor can originate so lower plus energies compared to homeal razor. And also the so maybe it was very very surprised. So to me, fiber razor can make uh, two thousand hertz in pulse frequencies. In addition, laser fiber diameter is very very slender in two fiber razors than formula razors. Very different fiber razors. This is very this is a very very attractive I think. In formula razor with Moses technologies. The clinical features including less lateral progent, enhancing laser ablations, so maybe some are effect, some ablation, some are mechanism, and rest basketing. Upper three, you know, maybe in certain fiber razors, the feature is almost the same. Less lateral progent of enhanced laser ablation, less basketing. And but now, so more flexible and smaller laser fiber. Is one of the different features. Upper street. <laughs> now, so maybe I have some concerns. Which is a better efficacy in clinical use for stone treatment? So, which is a better fiber with Moses or twin fiber razors in clinical practice? According to some small, small amount of evidence in some areas. So the answer is here, stream fiber razors might be superior to the formula razors with Moses in clinical use now. In the review article, they reported that trim fiber razor is superior to formula razors in terms of growing points. It's more fiber, more flexible, and they're able to bend smaller diameters with Moses. Less fiber band back. Ablation speed at a two, two times faster more than so than the Moses tech. Technology, I think, smaller, creating a small dust and the rest of projects. Maybe I think us almost endure this, so no, this, so maybe feature, I think. How about clinical practice? How about the outcome of clinical practice? So, in another clinical comparison, so maybe trim fiber laser, fiber, uh, hyper homeal laser with Moses, the answer is here. Operation time is faster in the trim fiber razors. And the surgical visual razor is clear. So trim fiber razor compared with Moses technologies. This is a new paper in current R-sheet trials. So which is a better trim fiber razors and the hyper homologies with Moses. The outcome is here. Operation time and stone relate is better in trim fiber razor now. So 
Of course, lateral intraorenal surgery is versatile procedures for not only stone management, but also the another sickness diseases like urinary tract, urinary carcinomas. I want to share some cases with UTUC case. Now, so endoscopic UTUC treatment has gradually improving due to thanks for development of RRS. Therefore, according to NCC guideline now, so they suggested indicates endoscopic resections. I mean the nephrospheric surgery in UTUC with low grade pathology finding will be appropriate suitable or not. I share my cases. So I am endologist. Sometimes we forecast on the UTUC surgery. First case is 1.8 centimeters pelvic linear, linear pelvic muscles, whose pathology finding is a low grade with some carcinomas. Their kidney function is normal range. Therefore, we choose to select, so maybe nephrospegal surgery, laser ablation like this. You know, so when doing UTC treatment, nephrospegal surgery, so we have uh, two razors. We use the two razors. One razor is, of course, homeyag razors, and also the two fiber razor, two meag razors. So even in even bigger cases, even in impractical cases, over three centimeters, and usually with high grade cases, of course. So this is this is possible. So this is a. Yeah, so maybe when performing, when performing the UTC treatment, we use two razors. One razor is two meag razors for hemostasis because this razor is good, good hemostasis. But so after that, after hemostasis, of course, we use the whole razor because whole razor is great, so shockwave, great, generate a great shockwave to splash it. Coagulated to more tissue. Next topics is that futures from present status and future status in RRS management. First, I think in coming futures, no basketing is possible. Yes, my answer is yes. Yeah. So actually, a new polymeria razor will be coming now in stone field. The, the name is a Moses 2.0. Of course, Moses, now Moses is different, Moses 2.0. This razor is just Moses technologies. This razor is capable of increasing pulse electrations up to 120 hertz with less lateral pressure, I think. Therefore, it might be made of faster ablation than previous Moses 1.0. Yeah, in Moses 2.0, which is a new one, what is what is advantage in this laser systems? More stone dust compared with trim fiber razors? First operation times, of course, compared with the trim fiber razors. And also beta stone free. So this answer. There is so there is few evidence now. However, so even though glowing laser technologies and the operation technique, laminate the stone is still critical concerns after RS procedures. Usually every enterologist expects to spontaneously pass over stone fragments after RS procedures. But in some cases it's uh, difficult, it's impossible. So, however, according to some literatures, this outcome was not zero stone free after RS procedures. Lemonant stone fragments still big concerns, of course, for memes, of course, for enterologists, I think. So, now, you know, vacuum devices, suction devices have invented to increase stone free late after RS procedures. This is a one of our vacuum devices, which is suction's ultra access sheet, you know. This device makes good stone free light. So compared with the usual access sheets, it's get better stone free 
and a short operation time, I think. And the new ones, this is another one, new ones. Yeah, this name is a Carrera, which is a suction device too, under navigation of floor stove. So after breaking us, you break your stones, you originating, and so maybe a, stone, a lot of a small stone fragments. After that, you insert this carrier devices on the floor scope and it accumulate you no know, stone fragments, I think. This is a, the type of carrier device is a band of flexibility. So of course, I have not used it yet now, but last two years, so maybe 2020 EAU, this primary outcome in, introduced now. Outcome is very good outcome. And also there, so I was very surprised to see this so presentations last years. Novel vacuum device of retroscope has been invented now, developed like this. This device was introduced by so Professor Ralph Clement from dust 2021 in Miami in the United States last year. Very, very impressive for me. But if so, this device in the scope so has invented and launched in this, uh, in this field, I think uh, no basketing is possible. Next issue is uh, decreasing lattice exposures. This is a mandatory for the surgical staff or surgeon operation think as you know that when pressing the retro axis and checking the stone press and endoscope press every case is we suffer from radiation exposures during full rs procedures this is a big concern i think usually radiation exposure is endological field is very very low of course even if the in retroscope cases, it is so 0 0.05 to 0 0.66 millimeter seeded. These procedures are not higher than this exposure, of course. But so maybe you should notice that even if lower inference of radiation exposure in endoscopic field, you know, you only that radiation induced cataracts, your eyes. So this cataract increasing in occupational radiation diseases. This is a big concern in large local field, of course, in our field. This is a, some evidence. If the medical personnel has been exposed for over three years, so to neck face level from the radiation exposures, this hazard ratio is higher, 1.25, compared with the usual one. Therefore, we should protect as much as possible according to the Allah principles in logical field. This is very important for me because endological surgery has been improving, increasing over the world. Therefore, we have to protect, protect myself, my colleagues. Okay, this is very impo important, I think. But unfortunately, most largest might be insufficient insufficient perceptions for radiation protection yes this is a real this is actual it is it is insufficient so of course we protect our our bodies with wearing eyeglasses siloed acid like lead aprons so however it is not complete 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 protections in our whole body yet brain or your foot your hands so maybe uh, we cannot complete we cannot protect completely during surgery i think therefore now so in our research we invented and made the noble receiving cartons including two elements so which are antimony or bismuth element not using so lead lead element this noble cartons covers a four patient bed in operating room theater. It was excellent efficacy to reduce the radiation exposure in our operation room theater during our race. It will reduce in 95% scattered radiation exposures. So in operating shelters compared to no seeding 
This is a very, very so useful method, one tool. Next issue is, you know, better surgeon ergonomics. So you're getting, you get, you should get a surgeon ergonomics during surgery. Of course, including RRS, efficient surgery. So the comfortable surgical ergonomics is very, very important to continue our surgery. As, show, as I showed before, andrologists have, have to wear the sun protectors to prevent so from the radiation exposure usually. But these materials are heavy for us. In longer operation, like over two hours, so we had a lot of fatigue after operations. Therefore, it is easy, easily tired after that. Repeated longer surgeries with heavy protectors. So this is a make our body and health strain every day. In addition, of course, we usually perform RS procedure in standing positions like this. So, but it is so tired if operation is so longer and longer. Use of flexion water scope in limited space, very, very narrow space. So this is a very not easy manipulations. However, we have to have cilia severe tight manipulation in limited space. And also that this is very tired for me. Of course, so some reusable scope with camera head light cable is some heavier, of course, compared with single use a digital scope. If we use a reusable scope with camera head light cable, so after that, your hand, your neck, your wrist, sometimes some fatigue. Therefore, so we recommend ergonomics, uh, ergonomic, better ergonomic RS procedure like this. So my friends, so Dr. Bennett Garas, so published in the two journal of Androgy this year, 2022. Ergonomic RRS is needed now. Show you some tips. So how to pour the scope, how to manipulate the flex your little scope. Knowing each step with advantage along is quite important to get comfortable ergonomic surgery field, I think. Therefore, we should learn this ergonomic RRS and, and also the train it gradually. And also there's so maybe our eye direction to the monitors, image monitors, is one also important during RRS. We should not look at the monitor view of Wadri. If anything, you should, you had a better look at the monitors down Wadri because so maybe avoiding your so neck injury. This is your ergonomic RRS procedures. In addition, I introduced the new devices flex vitroscope. Regarding with manufactured flex vitroscope type, type itself, we have invented a joystick flex vitroscope like this for ergonomic manipulations. I show you this some clips. The novel flex URS can be easily handled by even medical students. I research using medical students. And then, when compared to the usual reusable flex VRS, the novel flex vitroscope with joystick model has ergonomically advantage compared with a now usual, now usual reusable scope. Yes, so of course this flex URS so had clinical benefit profit benefit which was an easy approach to lower poor carrots compared with the usual one. So now, so I continuously so embedded this joystick, so please wait to so launch this new joystick, so flex VRS. Next one is a big concern, robotic rotoscopic surgery, you know. Robotic rotoscope has invented around some countries over the world. It was great advantage like decreasing radiation exposures, improving ergonomics, surgical ergonomics. How about is clinical outcome now? But so there is a huge evidence now 
So some clinical experience, some trial has been ongoing. Yeah. Therefore, so I inter I, I'd like to introduce uh, some developing robotic gluteoscope over the world. I know from the five countries over the world. First robotic from Turkey, you know. This is a Ventica Roboflex from Elemental Company in Turkey. I'm lucky, so I visit to this hospital. I explained the two cases. So you by using the Roboflex Elemental. My thoughts. So this is a very, very so useful because uh, so final manipulations, even if the breathing kidneys. And so maybe for, for surgeons. So it's a very comfortable positions without uh, no seating, so no lead cutting, I think. It is very great, easy manipulations. So even if the, so maybe young trainees, older people, or the older physician, I think. So it is, so in my opinion, so it has some great advantage in agronomical and uh, radiation exposures, I think. But no, I I, I don't know. No, I, I don't know that. So maybe so some critical outcome yet now. I should wait. We should wait uh, some great clinical outcome, I think. But so this robotic is one of the good tools in the coming future, I think. Of course, with development of razor innovations. Yeah. According to some reports, clinical versions about so this Loboflex. Compared with Lobotech RS with a classical flex VRS, this out fast outcome is same, comparable in the operation time, some free rate complication is all components it is see now but coming in future i don't know i don't know the outcome but i think i expect it to there to be better outcome i think next robotic from us this is a very attractive like i think a us robot robotic fluoroscope is like a da vinci i think this type of lob flex, lob, lob flex geography is very different from a ventricle lob flex from Turkey. As you know, so they, they can control by remote control like this. So this is a flow, this is a US always companies. Of course, I don't know that this name, robotic name, but like the benches. So this always companies has launched so robotic bronchoscopy so we can use the so robotic bronchoscopy in clinical use so maybe of course so i can i cannot wait i cannot wait uh, this robotic flexibility scope next country is of south korea this is a new one this is amazing so as you know this is this robotics name is uh, easy literal so which is the newest one? This robotic robotic uh, rotoscope machines can record their pathways in correcting system. Amazing. Once going to the pathways in retro, go to the uh, to the stone. So this robot systems so remembers, maybe memorize so this pathways road. And then Automatic, automatic movement can be achieved. This is amazing robot, robot system, I think. I heard from my friends, Dr. Simon shows. So maybe your primary preliminary trial has, has already done. Of course, I cannot wait this primary outcome. Yes, next one is also from France, Italy. Yeah. So this, as you can see, these portals, so it is system, maybe I think like uh, Elmedo, Elmedo systems, but so controller is remote. Yeah, so of course, so I cannot use, I cannot meet, I cannot see that this uh, robot, robot system yet. 
The last is from China. Yes, so some less recent report described a new robotic spectroscope like this. It was being now, now developing in China. Yeah, so some reports. So I think this is a plot one type. So totally, I think the uh, robotic correction spectroscope will be advanced in coming futures, in coming near futures, I think. Therefore, so maybe after three, maybe four years ago, three, four years, so maybe we can use the so new robotic WRS instant field over the world. I cannot wait this new newcomers. Last topics is the educational systems of RRS procedures. We can we can use uh, some so educational model of flexible telescope in like, like this model. These models are including a lower and higher facilities bench model like this, but to get a more stone free, more stone, more skill of so pre operated training, we need to use advanced model. Therefore, we developed, we made new systems with breathing model. Of course, this is from Japan. So now we carry out this hundred model, hands on training by using this breathing model like this. So in educational system of flux VRS, of course, using this um, these bench models, we open the hands around in so local places. But so maybe you know it is not so easy to afford it in person training course because of the COVID nineteen pandemic. Therefore, we now so try create the online so hands on training like this using online using Zoom. So we try to create a new online hands-on training system. Coming features, of course, I, I had the first online training system, hands-on training. But of course, we had some query. So therefore, so maybe we should so solve this problem. I would like to introduce the, this new training system, you know, virtual reality training systems. It is VR training. So I'd like to share my so VR training clips. So having the VR head on set, we can virtually visit so operation room theaters, even if place is so first. So and then we can easily so learn the expert surgery by using a VR training system, I think. This is a visiting theaters on VR. Once joining the this so visiting theaters, you can ask questions to instructors. So by using the VR system and remotely. So this is a I think uh, this is a new training system in coming futures. Last two years, so we record the VR so educational system, of course, the live surgery. In these years, this years, so we try to VR, we try to do VR training. So this so VR training system will be capable of learning of surgical skill remotely. So even though there it is part of from the uh, each others in four countries, hopefully, so maybe along the Asian countries. So by using a VR training system, so we try to educate. So along the Asian countries. So in summary. So I talk about uh, necessary features present of RRS stone management of RRS. So in summary, so the direction of RRS procedures as the following, I think. Hybrid use of single use or reusable use is very, very important, mandatory like this. And more dusting, less, less prosketing with the sections. And you need rest radiation exposures during operations and you get you have you you want to get a better ergonomic surgery and so in coming futures so maybe promote the robotic retroscope surgery and finally so we should do do the expansions of online use 
communication like pure so maybe a pure scientific program like this okay so maybe my presentation has done so thank you for your long time and also thank you for your attention today i appreciate so for joining this so pure science program thank you everyone thank you very much thank you very much you know a fantastic talk to be honest with your permission i am closing the talk uh, I, I was impressed with the imagination you have in your brain about rirs so i will quickly go through the questions and my opinions because this is also my area of interest yeah yeah right but uh, my first question i tried and i am trying and i am using for a long time access sheet insertion inserting into ureteroscope without using cm for last 15 years yeah really? only a problem is only fixed combinations like cook access sheet 28 centimeter length will fit snugly in wolf ureteroscope 4 by 6.5 without any gap you oh, yeah. pass a guide wire through the ureteroscope then you pass the access sheet over the retroscope, you go inside, push the access sheet like visual operator method. And we rarely use CM, but we assess the lumen of the ureter before whether it is accommodable, distensible for 6 by 7.5 retroscope. So this visual operator technique we are using in all our three hospitals by all the consultants so that CM used is less. Number two, we do not do RGP at the beginning at the end. Three, CT scan if shows only one stone or two stones in fixed locations, if you see those stones, no need to do RGP and search for other calices. Your comment on this, please. Yeah, so maybe our first questions, you know, so actually, so yeah, I don't, I don't experience the using the so suction access sheets yet. So because, so maybe now, so I use the so usual access is without the suction device, vacuum devices. So once time, so I used the so suction devices with uh, over retroscope. So maybe removing the stone fragments. So I think uh, for RS procedures, the retro retro rings is so far very longer. So compared with uh, so percutaneous nephrolithotomies. So these longer rings is very important, very diff very important. I mean the. Uh, it is difficult to remove all stone fragments during hours, even if they're when using the uh, so suction devices UAS. Therefore, now so we don't use the UAS with suctions. Yeah, my yeah, yes. Please. Yeah, please. Go ahead. Uh, regarding the dust. If you keep long access sheet in the pelvis yes. and keep on flushing with the viral pool effect for few minutes, mm -hmm. do you think the entire powder can be washed out? So maybe do you use your so maybe stone small fragment do you wash do you do you use the suction devices during surgery? no 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 i'm asking you made a lot of powder dust entire oh, okay. is filled with dust it. you change with long access sheet into the pelvis yeah yeah put, put flexible scope keep coming back keep coming back flushing coming back flushing coming back no, I get it. if you do for five minutes 
the gauge piece if you keep below all the yellow dust will be settling at the gauge piece and in reasonable time you can empty in empty the kidney so i do like that because as of now suction devices under vision are not available ah okay i got it so baby what kerala kerala, uh, kerala used said it is a, a blind fluoro guided suction yes exactly exactly it's not it's not so user friendly in that way yeah for me yes of course for me so maybe under so maybe inserting of uh, under fluoroscope so maybe a carrier device um, in my opinion so carrier device is not available for me i think because uh, under direction uh, under the fluoroscope not direction visions or protoscope with your scope yeah i wanted to ask you i am using tfl quite a long, fiber razor, fiber razor, yeah. quite a long time now if you have both 120 luminous uh with the uh, moses effect and thulium fiber laser yeah do i am asking two questions one the maximum frequency is 120 you are mentioning yeah yeah tfl as 200 already do you think TFL generates more heat than luminous yes. if you use high frequency you cannot say yeah yeah so I'm sorry that so maybe I don't use the so to, I don't use a twin fiber laser yet so in my in my countries but so you know hyper formulizers so Moses technologies so i already used but so maybe um, my machine is not up to the one 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 120 hertz yeah my i have uh, so usually moses technologies so maybe high highest hertz is uh, so 80 80 hertz i want to listen from you in future the size of the flexible scope if it becomes less than six french yes, yes and if you have 50 micron fiber does it change uh rirs safety yes a lot in future especially ureteric injuries will be lessened yes i think so especially recent uh, scope from Pusen. yes 7.5 7.5 is very good yes i think sir i use it now i also used yes and uh, in future these type of flexible disposable scopes mm -hmm. very small size are technically possible very much possible yes yes i agree so tight ureters uh, stenting may not be required in such cases yeah yeah that is also future development we can think of yes exactly so maybe of course i use that 7.5 program persons very very useful so maybe in so japanese persons you know compared with uh, caucasians so bigger bodies but yeah yeah even in india yeah, even in india yeah. our ureters are small and tight yeah. tight tight also yes i think so so coming to the robotic you have nicely illustrated collected lot of data this is the first time i am seeing different type of robotic technology uh, presented in the talk i am thankful to you it will be a record in pure urology about these robotic technologies but uh, as the size of the stones is decreasing because of the liberal use of ultrasound 
we are not seeing stag horns we are not seeing stag horns as much 30 years back before birth only we are getting ultrasound so if you innovate the robotic technology so much only for rirs if the size of the stone and volume of the stone is less yes it may not serve a great purpose unlike da vinci for laparoscopy mm -hmm. yes, so, I think so in stone you don't see high volume stones in the future as in western countries most of the stones are less than 2 cm and most of the volume is less than 1000 in which case rirs with uh, high frequency laser finishes in 10 minutes to 15 minutes so ergonomically in my unit dr ramakrishna who is senior has never done rirs in a standing position always sitting position so uh, is will it be cost effective uh, for future rirs especially for medium and small stones yeah i think so you know there maybe i think regarding the cost and the benefit so maybe robotic retroscope is not useful i think so maybe i think uh, maybe coming futures you know in the, in the futures so maybe hopefully of course i don't know the fact but so robotic system will be coming so of course we have a lot of concern a lot of issue now but i think uh, we should resolve so this a lot of issues a lot of problems to make a robotic systems like the Vinci system i think my last couple of questions you have done so much research on radiation by siam is there any study which shows that in cardiologists, urologists, orthopedicians, mm -hmm. is there any incidence of increased carcinoma of thyroid or increased incidence of cataract global study? Yeah, yeah. Is there any clue? Yes, good questions. Good questions. Yes, so maybe in andrological field andrologist about andrologist we don't have uh, any evidence so maybe can so cancers or cataracts but radiologist and cardiologist and uh, so yeah cardiologist about cardiologist and radiologist uh, uh, so some cancers and neck cancers and uh, so cataracts and brain cancers so uh, just a little bit higher so compared with don't use the so radiation exposures okay yeah. evidence here now my last question baskets are going to fade away if you have a large stone in inferior calyx in a solitary kidney with some coagulation abnormality do you like to powder in situ or do you like to make pieces and put in upper calyx this is very very important practical question because the powder in the lower calyx versus the powder in the upper calyx clearance after 30 days definitely science says more with powder in the upper calyx yeah right so maybe usually so maybe upper calyx of course even if there's so lower calyx stones so i depress this depressor so to the lower upper four calyx you know as you know there's those lower calyx stones and uh, after after breaking so in the lower pore stone uh, upper pore stones clearance is very great okay so to conclude you mean to say that less radiation less basket use yeah. 
मोर एर्गोनमिकल आर आई आर एस एडवांस्ड लेजर्स मीनिएचराइज फ्लेक्सीबल स्कोप्स विल चेंज द utility of rirs in stone disease in the coming years let us hope your presentation becomes true in this decade at the end of this decade we we'll love to see all the things mentioned in your presentation you have great visionary scientist mind in your brain we wish to do any combined study if at all you are interested because we are high volume rirs daily 10 to 15 cases we do let me and let my team be enthusiastic to learn from you in the future who has so much a uh, research oriented mind with you i really appreciate keep continuing this you are the future for the scientific research and developing new things the amount of uh, research you have done on online training the respiratory movement related training in the in vivo is amazing i never expected in the later half of your talk you have spoken really advanced uh, technology on training in future patients may not be available liberally trainees will be more but patients will be less so your thinking is correct that is the way future science training will be there keep it up i thank you once again for this talk and giving opportunity for us in the pure and this youtube link will be there forever and many of the youngsters will get benefited by such talks thank you very much thank you we will conclude the session with your permission thank you very much thank you thank you dr bari great highly appreciate it